So if methanol is cheaper and greener than traditional gasoline, why isn't the U.S. getting in on the act? Owen Fairclough has more. It is in the area of illegal liquor production, or moonshining, that the ANTT enforcement branch finds its most difficult problems. Methanol has a checkered history in the United States. Also known as wood alcohol, it's synonymous with prohibition-era bootlegging. But environmentalists love it, a fuel with very low emissions that has huge potential for reducing global warming. And yet methanol never really caught on as an alternative transport fuel here in the United States. Serious development began when the 1970s oil crisis caused gasoline prices to rocket. By the 1990s, there were around 20,000 methanol fuel cars on U.S. roads. But then suddenly, methanol just seemed to run out of gas. Methanol's demise was partly due to higher production costs. By contrast, corn-based ethanol benefited from government subsidies for the farmers who devoted vast tracts of their land to it. But methanol industry leaders say times are changing. You know, we've got a shale gas revolution, we've got a resurgence of methanol production in the U.S., and we're seeing methanol pricing hit a five-year low down to below a dollar a gallon. So methanol today can be a very affordable fuel and can compete with gasoline at the pump. China likes those numbers and is backing methanol in a big way. There are more than a million vehicles running on it in China. And Chinese chemical companies are setting up methanol production plants along the U.S. Gulf Coast. They can make it with cheap shale gas and then export the fuel back home. In China, methanol is succeeding because it's economics. Methanol is about one-third the cost of gasoline in China. So they're real economic drivers that are pushing methanol into the fuel pool in China. With gasoline prices the lowest for years, U.S. drivers may not be ready to switch to methanol, but the shipping industry is. New emissions regulations mean both cargo and cruise firms must be greener. A perfect opportunity for a cleaner, if unloved, fuel. Owen Fairclough, CCTV, Washington.